All right, I have a word for you. And this word is about praying in the spirit. Some people refer it as praying in tongues. But listen, how you pray determines whether you receive a breakthrough or not. The words that you speak, the intent of your heart is very important. Now, Jesus taught his disciples how to pray. Now, his, his disciples saw that John's disciples knew how to pray. And John's disciples were taught how to pray. Then they went and asked his master, their, their, their teacher. They went and asked Jesus. They said, Rabbi, teach us how to pray. Then Jesus taught them. Some people call it the Lord's Prayer. But it was the disciples' prayer. Because he taught his disciples how they should pray. The pattern in which they should pray. The model of prayer. It does not mean that when you are praying, you repeat the same exact words. But what you are supposed to do is uh, pray according to those words. Let your prayer be according to the scripture. Let, let your prayer be according to the word of God. And you will see a breakthrough in your life. You have to know how to pray. And when you are praying, you have to address your prayer to the right person. Because if you address, if you're addressing your prayer to the wrong person, your prayers will not be answered. It's like writing a letter to a friend who is in a far distant country. And then when you are writing that letter, you forget to put the postal code or you put a wrong postal code and a wrong address. That letter will not be delivered. That letter will never reach your friend. Because the address and the postal code are wrong. That's what many or some Christians are doing. Remember, prayer is like you are talking to your God. You are having a conversation. It's like a dialogue. It's not a monologue. But you find some people, when they are talking to God, they speak and speak and speak, and they, have, and they never hear God speak. When you are in prayer, you have to hear God speak to you. And if you do not know how God speaks, or if you want to learn how God speaks, I made a video of how to know, how to know if God is speaking to you, different ways through which God speaks. Go back to that video and watch it so that you can know if God is really speaking to you or it's your thoughts or it's the enemy. So you need to learn how to pray. And going to the discussion of, the, of, of, of this, it's praying in tongues. Some people do not know how to pray in tongues. Or pray in the spirit. But listen, there are things that will happen if you pray in the spirit that will never happen if you're just having a, a prayer with your mind or, or, or the normal prayer people have. Because in your spirit, when you're praying in the spirit, you are speaking to God. Your spirit prays. Read about how Paul talked about praying in the Spirit. So that you, in the book of Corinthians, you can go and look at how he talks about praying in the Spirit or praying in tongues. He addressed that issue. And, of course, there are different uh, tongues that uh, you can pray in. When you, when you see somebody praying in tongues, Sometimes it's a tongue of men. There are tongues of men. Now, tongues of men are, is when you, 
you, you, you are praying and you speak in an unknown language. Or you can be in an area, you start speaking Spanish, and yet you have never spoken Spanish. An example I'll give you is when uh, the disciples, in the book of Acts, when you read the book of Acts, the disciples were waiting for the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, to come on them. And the scripture says they were in an upper room. And at Pentecost, they were in one accord. They were praying. And the Holy Spirit came on them as though it was flames of fire. And when the people heard these disciples speak, they started speaking in different tongues, in languages that they would understand. That is the power of God. Another tongue that you can pray in when you're praying is the tongues of angels, where you speak mysteries. It is God who will understand the enemy, the devil, will not understand what you're, what you're saying. Your mind may not never understand unless you have a spirit which, where, where the spirit will be able to help you interpret your tongues. Very important. If you, learn how, if, you, if, you, if you want to learn how to pray in the tongues or in the spirit, you can do it. If you, if you have received the Holy Spirit in you, if the Spirit of God abides in you, then you can speak in tongues. You just haven't realized. There are some people that are just waiting just for time to, to speak in tongues. And yet you have to take the first action. You have to open up your mouth. You have to speak. Remember, this is a, an act of faith. Speaking in tongues is an act of faith. Let me give you an example. When you were growing up as a young kid, some of, I know most of you speak English or understand English, but when you were growing up, you could barely speak a word. You could not speak a word. But as you were growing up, you started picking up some words. Maybe it was go, come, there. But you were not fluent in the English language as you were a kid. But the more you practiced, the more you started speaking that English language, the more now you are an expert. You can teach someone. That is the same thing when you're learning how to speak in new tongues. Sometimes you speak words like ma, la. And, th and that is okay. It is okay to start with those words. Because you are still a baby. It's a new language to you. But when you develop in the language, you start speaking new words. Like rima karabosunda, kandendo starakendo, prakina raindo starida. You will start speaking words and mysteries that people do not understand. You will go into locations and start speaking languages of that indigenous tribe. You need to learn how to pray in tongues. Do not be afraid to try it out. Yes, they may call you mad. They may, they may think you're out of your mind. They may call you drunk, but you're not drunk. That is the language of the Holy Spirit. And there are some things. Some, remember, there are some areas that you will never have a breakthrough in your life. If you do not pray in the Spirit. Because when you're praying in the Spirit, you cover a lot of areas. You even start praying for things that you did not know. God brings to you things that the enemy was hiding from you. That is the power of, the, of tongues. Do not, be, do not allow yourself to be fooled by the people who disregard this gift. It is a gift from God. And this gift, God wants you to use it. 
This gift is in you. But you need to open your mouth and speak. I hope this word has been a blessing to you. I hope it has encouraged you. And if you have any question, go ahead and ask me your questions. Do not be afraid. Send in your prayer requests and I will pray for you. Until next time, be blessed.